Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Kaba Ilka number X92 key blank for American Motors, Jeep and Renault vehicles, X92. It also says on there, I think, RN25. We'll confirm that. Um, there we go. Trying to keep the camera focused on what we're working on here. Okay. Now, there is an image below this video of the milling profile, and that milling profile is as if you're looking down into the cylinder, not when you're looking from your eyes to the tip of the key, but as if you're looking down the bow into the cylinder. So the broaching in the cylinder itself is what that milling profile looks like. So if you're trying to identify it, you'll have to reverse that in your mind's eye. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at a supporting document to this key blank. So this is the item that we're looking at, the X92 from Kaba Ilko. There's that milling profile. The link to the manufacturer's page is here and some encyclopedic reference documents here. The one we want to look at is literally called Key Blank Catalog. So let's open that up. Now all the automotive, all of the automotive from Kaba Ilko is in section one of their catalog. Uh, North American cylinders like lock set cylinders, those are in section two. But if we do a find function on our keyboard, control F for X, 92, we're going to find all of the instances where it occurs in this catalog, and it shows up six times. So initially it'll show up in the table of contents, so to speak, telling you to, what page to get to. One day, Section 1, page 5, section 1, page 125. And here we are, section 1, page 5. And there's our X92. So under American Motors, Jeep Renault, they have 15 different key blanks that are available, and that's ours. And again, that's the milling profile. Turned on its side, but that's what it looks like. The important part is you can look at the other key blanks that they have available. If you're not sure of what it is that you're ordering, um, that scrutinizing the milling profile is how you're going to determine whether or not um, at least to divide out those items that it can't be. Now, admittedly, I would not be able to distinguish between an X116 and an X92, um, except that they do clearly look to have a different thickness up at the top. Um, you know, they have the same ward cut on the side, but, it, but the X16 appears to be thicker. The point I'm trying to make is not always can you determine, but if you're not sure if it's an X85 or an X92, well, the X85 doesn't have that ward cut, so you can eliminate that one immediately. Going to the next instance, it does show up again under Renault only. Then the rest of the time it shows up will be in a cross-reference uh, sort of scenario. So we've got an Ilco, that's the Ilco column of the X92. And they're saying that the F42, F45 from Alba, whoever that is, I've never heard of them, um, would be a cross-reference, along with the Briggs & Stratton, key blank 321233, uh, and then Dominion, there's a cross-reference, and you get the picture. The point is, and Silka has a version as well, they're NE42, the point is, is if you're looking at a key blank, regardless of who the manufacturer is, Silka, Jet, Taylor, Dominion, etc., etc. You can fire up the good old key blank catalog and do a find function and see if you can come up with a cross reference of what it is that you're looking for. If you know that you've got a Silka NE42 and you just want to know what the Kaba Ilko number is, well, it's X92. There you go. It's in the it's in the catalog, and that's why that's so important. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, it could be that Kaba Ilko is the largest 
Largic, the largest domestic manufacturer of key blanks. Um, they are under the umbrella of a much, a much more massive organization. I'm not sure if it's called Dormacaba, but Stanley and Best and Precision, uh, obviously Ilco, independent lock company Caba Ilco is where this is coming from. This has Ilco on it. Um, so they're part of a large outfit. Uh, what's neat about Caba is that they get into so many different things, um, such as hospitality, card locks on, on hotel suites, you know, key card access locks. They also have mechanical push button locks known as simplex locks. They are also going to be able to assist with high security cylinders under the peaks terminology. They also had, and I, they're probably going to discontinue it, the Kaba Gemini and other high security cylinder platforms. But just Ilco itself, on that page to the manuf on that link to the manufacturer's page, you might uh, like to take a look at the archival catalogs that we have there. We have a catalog there from 1950 for sure, and I think I have one from the 1970s. So that's just a neat way to be able to go back in time and do some research on a key blank, which I, I do often. I've been able to locate key blanks in the old catalog and be able to say, yeah, that's the reason. They've discontinued it. It's in the catalog from 1970. Let me look at the page. 1972, it's just not in, you know, it's not in the 2000 whatever uh, catalog. There's an individual over at Kaba to whom I'd like to say thank you, a uh, gentleman in charge of cylinders, quite patient, and uh, I appreciate uh, him tolerating the several and many questions. Any questions on the Kaba Ilko X92 or any other Kaba Ilko product, please feel free to reach out to us, and thank you.